Also new this morning, the battle over a beachfront toll road is over, at least for now. The California Coastal Commission has rejected extending the proposed toll road that would have run through San Onofre State Beach, State Park, that is, in Orange County, and into San Diego County. Our Katia Lopez Hadoyan joins us with more. Katia, good morning. Good morning, Marianne. An estimated 3,000 surfers and environmentalists, commuters, union activists, and tribal members turned out for the hearing in Del Mar yesterday. The meeting ended 14 hours later, but the debate had been going on for about a decade. At issue was a 16 mile stretch of freeway extending State Route 241 from Rancho Santa Margarita to I 5 at Northern Camp Pendleton. Proponents of the toll road say it was necessary because of the hours they spend in rush hour traffic on the I-5. But opponents say the proposed $875 million toll road comes at the cost of beaches and wildlife. The panel's vote last night means that commissioners found the project doesn't, mean, doesn't meet the legal requirements of the Federal Coastal Zone Management Act or the California's Coastal Act. Both sides had emotional comments after the vote. This is great. <laughs> This is the most incredible thing. I've, I've been here all day long. I took off from work today. So many people came and showed up. Thousands of people came to protest them having the, the commission approved, building a toll road to a state park. This is great. We have doomed uh, the residents of California to in increase traffic congestion and gridlock. We will be harming the uh, water runoff. Uh, the air quality is going to be in, uh, degraded because of the uh, greenhouse gases. And state parks is, is greatly impacted because of uh, the loss of $100 million for their enhancements. Toll road officials say the fight isn't over yet. They plan to file an appeal with the U.S. Secretary of Commerce to keep the project alive. From the newsroom, I'm Castillo Pesadoyan, NBC 739.